Hey guys, today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to show you guys some of the jail hacks that I learned. I've made some videos on it, but I wanted to do a long video of just all the stuff that I learned, tips and tricks that you can do when you're not in jail, and it really works. First, I'm gonna start with how we curl our hair. So these are all ways to do heatless curls, and they actually work. Some jails you could have a hair tie. If you had a hair tie, it had to be like this. It couldn't have the metal piece on it. So if you had this hair tie, let's say you got arrested with it, you could take this one in. So by the time you left, it was like stretched out to here. Or sometimes we would leave them with the other girls because they needed one. So what I would do, take my hair tie, I would twist my hair. I would twist it all the way around, like twist the twist around into a bun and then tie your hair. And then in the morning when you took it out, it would make some, you know, like wavy curls. You could make a hair tie out of a sock. Don't get caught, but you can make a hair tie out of a sock. And you can do the same thing. You could do two. Let's say you had two hair ties or you made two, whatever. You could twist it. And just twist it into a little bun. The same as the big bun, but you could do two on the side. You can do this side the same way and twist it in a bun and just let it dry like that. And then when it dries, it'll just be like some curls. It looks cute though. You can put the buns up top, just wherever. Or some girls did the toilet paper roll. This would be harder to do because this is like super noticeable. You can curl your hair with toilet paper. Take some toilet paper, twist it. This is your curler, technically. Wrap it around, wrap it around. But this stuff would just, you guys, this stuff would just take so long and I feel like you would get caught and they'd make you take it out. Okay, so you tie it. There you go. But you'd have to like sleep like this or let, you know, dampen your hair and let it dry a little bit. And your hair will like make curly waves. I mean, none of the curls are gonna be perfect because it's not curling your hair, but you know, you get the point. It's, it's another way to curl it. But yeah, this would be hard to do. It would take a while to roll your hair up. You don't get a lot of toilet paper in there and you would have to hurry up and do it and hurry up and take it out before the CO see you. The quickest, easiest way for us was, honestly, was to just do the twist bun. That was just the quickest way, and they wouldn't say anything to you if you did it that way. But all the other ways, they're definitely going to say something and take it down, throw it away, not let you have any kind of peace or feel good about yourself in there. They just, it, none of that's allowed, okay? You can't do that stuff in there. And then some girls would make tamp, well this is a real tampon, but some girls would make tampons out of pads and then they would use the tampon and curl their hair. But again, that's gonna take a while to do. It's really noticeable, like you're not supposed to be doing any of this in jail. But you know, you're bored in there so people do it. Now the sock, you could do this. You could tie two socks Time in a knot. Just find like long socks. These are the socks that are the closest I could find to the ones in jail. But tie it in a knot, okay? And you're gonna make your heatless curl, you know, like the tube. You're gonna make like the heatless curl. It'll look like this. But you're improvising. And you could do the same curls the same way on the socks. But again, you'd have to try to do this at night you would do it at night when you go to bed and try to cover your cover it somehow so the COs don't see you and then wake up in the morning and take it out before you have to go do head count or whatever. You have to be quick about it. I don't know why it matters, but they don't allow this. But yeah, you could do this. You could do the whole hair wrap. I do mine different than everybody else does. I pull mine from the front like this and then I add more because it's easier this way. And then I just add more from the front. But it still curls it, you guys. So yeah, anyway, so you could do 
heatless curls that way or take the socks apart and you can just do one. I've done it to where it's only the bottom half. You can only curl, start at the bottom. If you don't want like waves too much on the top, you could do just the bottom half and it'll stay. This will stay y'all. You can do just the bottom half. Of course, you know, you can braid. You can do one, one big braid, two side braids. You could do twist. A lot of girls were twisting their hair. I couldn't do it, but twisting or braiding, they would do three braids right here. Like one, two, three, either three braids or three twists. And then we'd have the rest of it out. And we would do that and wear it to court like that. And then another hairstyle we did, okay. <laughs> this was like a long time ago, but this was in style, you guys. <laughs> we would do this. When we were going to court, we would do the bump. It's been so long. But yeah, anyway, we would do the little, the bump, okay. Some girls would get it braided right here, but we would do the bump like this and we would wear it to court just to like look decent. They didn't usually say anything about this. If you were allowed to have a hair tie anyway. So yeah, that's just some of the hairstyles we did. There's no way to straighten your hair if you have curly hair. How I dried my hair, I would take my t-shirt and just my, dry it. Either my t-shirt, if I had a white t-shirt or my uniform and I would just dried off that way. Just so I wasn't using that towel so much on my hair. The water in jail damages your hair really bad. And as most of you probably know, how we did our eyebrows, you would thread them with thread, like literal thread from a sock, from the sheets, wherever, and you would thread them. And that's actually what I did when I got out of jail and it helped me get my eyebrows to grow back. I just kept going to her until they shaped and, and looked good and filled in and that's where I'm at. Also, how we made hair ties. You could cut the top of the sock here, rip it, tie your hair with that, or take a glove and rip this top part off, tie your hair with that. You would use anything you could. Some people would take the actual sock and tie their hair up with the sock. Just whatever you could do if you couldn't have hair ties in there. That's a couple of hairstyles that we did in there, the ways we curled it. I'm sure there's more ways, but that's just the ways we would come up with. I'd have to think about it and see if there's more. I'm sure there's more ways. You just get bored in there, you guys, so you get creative. If you're sitting there, you have nothing to do but play with your hair, you just come up with stuff. I was gonna start a series this is for the hair, then do like your nails, your makeup, whatever. Like do a whole series of different hacks that I learned in jail, but me doing them in real life instead of the skits. Because some people might be able to use these. Hair care. So if you couldn't buy VO5 shampoo, you would just use what they gave you. I've seen people put mayonnaise in their hair. They said it would help. I mean, condition it, moisturize it. We didn't have much, you guys. It's not like we had tons of options in there. To make my hair smell better, I would use lotion and just put it on my hair. You could take regular conditioner and leave it as leave-in conditioner, just a little bit. And then the Jolly Rancher hair gel. You just take Jolly Ranchers and add it to water. And I'll add a clip how you make Jolly Rancher hair gel. Get something to put it in. Then we'll add some water in it. Put a few more in there. Once it's dissolved, you can add conditioner. Ew! And we really would put that in our hair. We would scrunch it in our hair. Of course, it didn't work very well, but I mean, it was something. <laughs> and yeah, it was sticky and, you know, you don't want to get ants and bugs and all that. But yeah, we did it and it smelled good. And there's just different hair hacks. But those are just a few that I could think of. And also, when you're in jail, you do not want to wash your hair every day because that water is so tough, it'll dry it out and there's chemicals and all kinds of stuff in there. So we would just wash our hair like maybe once a week because we didn't want it to get ruined even more because of that water, y'all. That water, the pressure, I mean, it smelled bad. It was just, it was bad. Every jail, it was bad. How we brushed our hair. You would use your comb if you had a comb, if you didn't get a comb. Some jails had hairbrushes on commissary, but it wasn't anything like 
spectacular. Or you would use a spork, which that's what we ate with. We would just clean it off and try to get through our hair. Use your fingers. Just whatever you could use, really. That's just how we did our hair. We did what we could do and tried to make the best of it while we were in there. Because jail's horrible and you're bored out of your mind. I know I've said that, but you're bored out of your mind. So that's how people get so creative in there. When you lose everything and you have nothing but time, you come up with stuff. Let me know which hacks you guys want to see next. See you guys.